Hello, Hopscotchers. Today we're gonna play a pretty crazy escape game. It's called Stickman Jailbreak, created by Nathan LN. I keep playing this game over and over because it's so hard to choose the right answer. It's a choose your own story adventure. You're trapped in a jail cell and your goal is to escape. So let's get started. All right, so we got a package. What's in the package? All right, so we have a shovel, a teleporter, a jackhammer that doesn't need electricity. We have a toy helicopter remote and a rocket launcher. I, I think I'm gonna go with the shovel first. It's pretty practical. Okay, we're digging. Oh no! We got caught and it's telling us that the first rule to escape is to be sneaky. So there's nothing sneaky about digging with a huge shovel in your jail cell. So let's try again. I'm gonna press the replay button and let's give this another go. All right, we're back in our cell and we've got a package. Okay, what do you think we should choose next? I'm thinking that the jackhammer is way too loud and it was telling us to be sneaky, so let's see. I think the teleporter, the teleporter is pretty sneaky. Okay, we just disappeared. Oh my gosh, no! I am, I'm disappointed. Okay. We are gonna try again. We gotta try again. Okay, just press the replay button and let's go in. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to make my, my new choice. We got a package again. We have our selection of goods. You know what, that teleporter really let us down. So I'm just gonna go ahead with this crazy rocket launcher. Boom, all right, here we go, here we go. Okay, we're making some progress. Okay, I see an exit. Let's go. No. Oh, okay, we have a choice. So uh, we could skirt around the police or we could jump into the hole. Um, I just wanna get out of here. So let's go, let's make the jump. These fail screens have really good advice. Next time, look before you leap. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. I think that we're getting closer to escaping though. All right, what do you think, you guys? I think that we're pretty close to escaping with this rocket launcher. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this rocket launcher again. Okay, boom. Boom. All smiles, we're all smiles. We knew the police officer was gonna come after us, but we know we have a choice. So I'm gonna pick the other one. I'm gonna skirt around the police. Skirt! No way, you guys. I think we made it. <gasps> yes! We escaped. We busted out of jail the unsneaky way. Okay, so it seems like there's a multitude of ways you could escape. Um, maybe you guys could play this and let me know in the comments the different ways that you escaped. But wasn't this an amazing game? This was crazy. Props to Nathan LN for making a super fun game. So what's really cool about Hopscotch is that you could play all of these super fun games made by Hopscotchers in the app. And if you want to check out how other Hopscotchers made their games work, you could check out their code by pressing the edit button. Let's take a peek at Nathan LN's code and see a little itty bit of how you might program a game like this. So I'm tapping the edit button and wow, look at all of these handmade drawings. So it looks like all of these different game objects are overlapped. These are all of the stick man. We have the different choices. We have some text, some buttons that he drew. I'm gonna tap one of these. This is the stick man with the bead of sweat. And let's just look at some of the code. 
So it looks like when a certain image is tapped, this image will become visible. It'll animate by moving left by 400. It'll change its image to a, it looks like it's a running stick man with a bead of sweat and it'll move down by 300 and then it'll become invisible again. So it looks like these are all the instructions that are being written for all of these images and these are all animated with code in Hopscotch. So if you make a game like this with a bunch of different game objects, you'll see that they're all overlapped. The way to look at the code for each of these objects is to simply tap and you'll see that every single object shows up in a little bubble. So I could tap on this one and check out the code for this guy. It looks like he's wearing a parachute, so spoiler alert, that might be one of the crazy ways you could escape. And on the top right hand side, you'll see a few lines with an eye icon next to it. You're gonna tap that and you'll see all of the game objects that you're using in your game all laid out line by line. And you could open them to see the code that's inside and you could easily collapse them and scroll and navigate all of your game objects. So that's really helpful and it's much easier to see everything that's going on in your game. I think what's so fun about this kind of game is that there's so many different choices and there's a bunch of different ways to win a game. There's not just one outcome. So it keeps you coming back to play it again and again and see all the little secret twists and turns that this game could take. Once again, Props to Nathan LN for coding a really cool game. You could play it on Hopscotch. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every week. And if you're coding your own projects in Hopscotch and you need some help on a coding problem, or if you just wanna share your games and your game ideas with other Hopscotchers, you should go ahead and visit our forum. And I'll leave the link in the description below. All right, as always, happy Hopscotching.